Hi, I'm Nabila Amira, a physiotherapist and a certified stock Pilates instructor. Today, my partner, Marcus Liang and I will be discussing about men's cancer in conjunction with the November month which focuses on men's health. Before we proceed, do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video from us. Feel free to drop a comment below and reach out to us through our social media pages. You can also WhatsApp us for any further inquiries. According to Malaysia National Cancer Registry report done by MOH for the period of 2012 to 2016 and report from WHO in 2018, the top three most common cancer cases among men in Malaysia are colorectal cancer, trachea bronchus, lung cancer, and also prostate cancer. Now, the question is, how do you detect whether you are at risk of cancer and knowing when do you need to see the doctor? The answer is knowing the early signs and symptoms. One of the early symptoms of cancer in men is bowel changes such as frequent diarrhea and constipation may indicate colorectal cancers. Urinary changes such as incontinence, urinary leaks or inability to urinate may indicate prostate cancer. Unusual coughing such as persistent cough or cough with bloody mucus may indicate early sign of lung cancer. Therefore, it is very important for you to notice even small changes in yourself in order to seek early treatment if needed. So, what are the methods you can do to reduce your cancer risk? Some of the examples are stay away from tobacco, follow healthy eating pattern, try to avoid from alcohol, get regular checkups and cancer screening tests, and most importantly, get yourself active and moving with regular physical activity. Physical activity or exercises provide several benefits such as lowering down your cancer risk, give you better quality of life, improve your mental health, reduce your anxiety and fatigue from the side effects of the treatment, and reduce the risk of recurrence or second cancer as well as other serious chronic disease. Now, I'll pass to Marcus as he will show some examples of exercises that you can do at home to stay physically active. Let's get started. The first exercise is roll up. This exercise focuses on spinal articulation while strengthening the abdominals and stabilizing the shoulder blades. To get into the starting position, lie supine, pelvis and spine in neutral, legs long, toning balls on shoulder. Inhale, prepare, exhale, head not and articulate spine off the mat reaching arms long by the sides. Inhale, start to roll back bringing balls to shoulder, exhale, articulate spine down to mat. The abdominal obliques and hip flexors are working concentrically to roll up and then eccentrically to roll down. Deltoids are also working to keep the arms up in the air. If you have tightness over the hips, allow the knees to slightly bend to relieve the tension during the roll-up. Avoid jamming the chin or using too much momentum during the roll-up and ensure to keep the arms up and do not shrug the shoulders. The second exercise is back extension to pike. This exercise focuses on scapular stabilization while articulating the spine into a flexion and extension. To start, lie prone, legs long, laterally rotated and abducted shoulder distance apart, arms long on the shoulder, spine and hips extended in a swan dive position. Inhale to prepare, exhale, tuck your toes in and press up into a pike position, articulating your spine from head to tail. Inhale, lengthen forward from tail to head into a swan dive position. The shoulder, back and hip extensors are working eccentrically to push the body up into a pike and concentrically to extend the back into a swan dive. Ensure that the spine is properly articulating throughout the exercise. Avoid shrugging by keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Imagine holding a $100 bill between your armpits. When performing the swan dive, think of shining your chest and opening up the collarbones up towards the ceiling. And during the pipe, push your chest close towards your thighs. The next exercise is side bend prep. This focuses on performing a lateral flexion while stabilizing the scapula of the bottom arm, the spine, as well as the pelvis. To start, sit on one pelvis, knees flexed. 
top leg laterally rotated foot on mat, bottom leg resting on mat with foot behind the top leg, supporting arm extended, hand in line with knee, top arm resting on knee. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the pelvis toward the ceiling, laterally flexing the torso reaching arm overhead. Inhale, lower the body towards the mat. The lower ipsilateral obliques are working concentrically to laterally flex the spine, eccentrically to return. The hip abductors and adductors are working to assist in the lateral flexion as well. Hip extensors concentrically to bring the pelvis forward and the serratus anterior will be working isometrically to stabilize the scapula. Ensure that there is no rotation of the spine and pelvis during the exercise. This is a common mistake as the exercise only involves coronal plane movements. The fourth exercise is push-up. This is a great exercise to strengthen the chest muscles as well as the triceps while challenging the stability of the spine. To start, be in a plank position. Pelvis and spine neutral, hands directly below shoulders. Inhale for 3 counts, flex the elbows, lowering the chest to the mat, exhale, press up. Pectoralis major and triceps are working eccentrically to lower the chest to the mat, concentrically to press up. The hip extensors, back extensors, abdominals and hip adductors are working isometrically to maintain the spine and pelvis neutral. A common mistake in this exercise is that the pelvis sinks down to the mat. To prevent this, keep the hip extensors engaged and imprint the pelvis using the abdominals. The last exercise is squat with side twist. This exercise helps in strengthening the knee and hip extensors as well as the contralateral obliques while stabilizing the spine and pelvis. To start, stand with legs hip distance apart, holding the weight in front of the chest. Inhale, hinge at the hips and flex the knees. Exhale, return to vertical, rotating to one side. Hip extensors and quadriceps are working eccentrically to squat, concentrically to stand. The contralateral obliques are working concentrically to rotate the spine to one side, eccentrically to return. When performing the squat, keep the chest upright and shining forward. During the spinal rotation, ensure that the pelvis maintains square. The spinal rotation should purely come from the ribcage and not from the pelvis or shoulders. To do so, you need to maintain the pelvis as well as the scapula stabilized. And that brings this video to its end. I hope that you learned a little something about men's health from us. If you have any questions, do ask them down in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That's all for now. See you. Bye.